good morning guys welcome welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm nicole and i thought today i could take you through my morning routine it is hold up so it is 6 30 a.m i don't know why i actually woke up early today because it is a saturday i'm not going anywhere i had a lovely week i didn't really vlog that much this week i thought i could just rock one full day or maybe do like a morning routine my morning routine hasn't changed that much from the last video but i feel like i just have a different mindset for each season it was winter last time and i feel like i was complaining about the cold and i was just trying so hard to like nourish my body for winter and the certain things that i wanted to do in the morning like part of my ritual part of my routine that i couldn't do in winter and now i can do in summer you know like walk like going outside in the pool and area and just chilling there and reading my book my morning routine is one of the most important things in my life right now and it just keeps me grounded it just keeps me um motivated to just do better and be better if i set the intentions in the morning i always feel like my day is going to be great no matter what no matter what day it is no matter what i'm going through but if i just decide in the morning that today is going to be a good day let me wake up and exercise i'm going to be a productive person today i'm going to be a positive person today and then i'm setting the tone for the day and also for the week as well it, last night i really really had a terrible dream and whenever i have a nightmare or a terrible dream or something happening the night before i always it motivates me even harder to stay focused the following day and have a proper morning routine because i feel like my mental health is all over the place because of that dream i'm not the type who's just going to be like it's just a dream i always i always want to interpret my dreams and i always feel like it means something even though it's not it's just a dream it's just so terrifying especially if like someone i really care about is involved in the dream i always wake up the following morning and call them and, ch and check if they're okay or maybe if it's my partner and he's, he's right next to me i always check on him and be like I, is he okay in real life because that dream was scary <laughs> it's at the morning right now i'm going to go for my walk and then i'm going to do a light workout maybe i'll do a bit of pilates i haven't done pilates in the last two two three days and i always try to skip maybe two days in between just to give my body a rest but yeah let's go for a peaceful walk and then come back and you know continue the morning together mm. Yeah. Every single day.
one of the few things that I like to do like for my skin in the morning I love dry brushing very very gentle obviously when you're starting out you just you feel like it's a bit harsh because you, your skin is not used to it but the more you like continue it feels really nice on your skin so what I do is I do like a circular flow they say the best way to do it is start from bottom to like top of your body I don't know why but I also do it that way as well definitely get one of these especially if you have have a hyperpigmentation of skin and even tone maybe from sunburn and all of that this is definitely going to help you and with obviously dry brushing does leave your skin dry and i do have really dry and flaky skin so i go in my oils this one is literally finished this is the bramley cosmetics tissue oil this is literally my holy grail more than any other oil but when you have dry skin when you have dry skin oils are very important those are literally your best friend so literally i use this primary cosmetic one this is top tier any flavor lavender whatever i've tried all of them it's great it's amazing and it's really really cheap i've done a video on it you can go and check it out and link it somewhere here and then i also have this one palmas cocoa butter formula with vitamin e i've talked about this one as well this one is really really nice as well as you can see it's about to finish as well i've been using it a lot the vitamin e is really really good for retaining moisture and then we also have this one i recently talked about it this one is slightly new to my routine but i'm loving it so far i can say the la lab um cosmetics one i don't know if you guys can see it also has vitamin a and vitamin e but i feel like it's not as moisturizing as these two these two really retain the moisture on my skin and after dry brushing because it's just completed i just apply my moisturizer and then i go in with my oil like this and it's just so good like it just makes me feel so good it just feels so nice on my skin honestly and i feel like sometimes that's all that you need body is dry funny enough and then my face is oily which is crazy so i have to use all the oils all the moisture for my body and then for my face i have to really be careful of like the products that i pick for my face but for my for my body i need to layer all the moisture or else i will just have flaky flaky dry skin i'm also like trying to have a hair care routine right now because my hair has been damaged from heat and all of that usually when you go to a salon right before they do your braids they always want to like burn your scalp and you know straighten your hair so that it looks nice the braids look nice so that really forces me to like have a hair care routine i've always had volume i've always had thick hair i've always had like full hair like naturally but really truly right now i have to like worry about my hairline because of braids because of heat the things that i use i use this uh protective relief uh dark and lovely if you're too lazy to wash your hair because it's almost like a a cleanser it's almost like a waterless cleanser from dark and lovely and it's also very cost efficient i've been i've had this one for like two months now and it's still there i use it for my braids because i don't really like washing my braids a lot and then after that i use this growth oil so this growth oil this is from chocolate organics i'll link their instagram down below or maybe a link to their website so that you can i don't think they have a website because i ordered from instagram as well it takes a while for them to deliver this growth oil has rosemary peppermint oil lavender oil tea tree oil castor oil and grapeseed oil which are like really essential oils for hair growth and all of that so i'm using them for my hairline especially i don't really apply it on my like uh, my scalp like for other areas if i because i feel like i don't really need it like i said other areas are okay my my hair is full in other areas but i have complaints about my hairline mostly and also just when it comes to regrowing your hair and making sure your hair is the thickest as it, it can ever be is to just stay away from heat to be quite honest and what i've noticed is my hair is not as black as it used to be it used to be jet black now it has this brownish tone from heat damage which i really don't like at all i feel like i look better with like peach black hair but yes uh this oil is really great for just all of that so definitely check it out if you want to then after that if i feel like i need more moisture then i will have i'll go in with this hair food 
I use it with my braids, I use it with my natural hair. It's just great. I mean, you can never go wrong with this one. I just finished taking a shower and all of that. I'm about to film a, a TikTok. So I usually do like these little TikToks uh, of my daily routine or just random motivational videos. And this is the tripod that I use. I love this one. You can put it on top of a table, put it on top of the counter. It's really nice. It rotates, you know. It rotates and also like it's compatible to a digital camera. So if I ever invest in a digital camera, I feel like it's going to be useful. Right now it's around 10 a.m. which is almost like the end of my morning routine. But this this is like the final step, which is journaling. These days, like the way that I've been journaling, I've been it's mostly been beautiful for where I am right now in my life and it's so great. Like whenever I look back at what I feel like my lips are really dry. Hold on. Let's moisturize the lips. So good. There's a lot to be grateful for. Just starting with my relationship, my partner. I have the most thoughtful guy. And it's just incredible. It's just very refreshing to experience that type of relationship. And also like with my career, with everything that is just started for me starting a new job and all of that and my mental health that's the most that's one thing that i'm mostly grateful for my mental health because there was a time that i did not see it possible for me to be happy and all of that but now i'm in a position where i'm like i'm literally happy and i'm not pretending anymore i'm not forcing it anymore it's just natural for me to wake up and have a morning routine and so refreshing to be in this position so that's basically what i I write, so I'll write today's date, today's day, and then I'll write um, what I am grateful for. If you can recognize the blessings that you have and the abundance that you have in your life, it's easy for you to manifest more for yourself because it gives you confidence that things are happening for you. Like if you're looking at your life and you're like, oh, God has been working on my to-do list, the things that I wanted five years back that i have right now it might not be tangible like um you know materialistic things but it can just be your state of mind your peace of mind and maybe love from a partner or the respect that you get from your colleagues and that's those are the things that i've wanted for the longest time but they now they just happened they just i just got into it and now that i'm in the middle of it I need to stop and just look back and be like, oh, five years ago, I didn't have this and now I do. Five years ago, I was in a shitty relationship and then I write what would make today great. So what would make today great? Maybe if I stay uh, focused on healthy eating habits, that would make a great day for me. Or maybe if I start the day with a workout, that would make a great day for me. Anything for you, honestly, it's not a one size fits all. It's just a matter of like, what do you need currently? Yeah, I really recommend journaling. For me, it's a matter, it's, it helps with just staying mindful, understanding where I'm at with my thoughts, manifesting my dream reality sometimes it's very important for me to not just say out loud the things that i want but to also write them down so that i can have them written on paper i feel like that's the first step of you taking action because you're like okay now let me write it down let me set the intention and then you can always go back to that piece of paper to remind yourself in case maybe you're losing focus you know you can always go back to that so yeah Journaling is very important and I really recommend it, especially if you are going back and forth with your mental health, it can really, really give you peace of mind. But yeah, um, that's the final step of my morning routine. Let me know if you guys like the style of our vlogging. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up on this video. It really helps me out. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.